We saw a president, I think, hitting his stride last night, laying out an optimistic vision for our country. Yeah. Telling Democrats, Republicans, we got to come together to solve these big issues that we all know exist. I'm excited that our House right now with Kevin Brady and, and Paul Ryan talking about uh, how to revise our tax structure. The individual tax rates, corporate tax rates, the structure beneath those in terms of deduction, but also the repatriation tax. These things we know will provide growth for our country. The border adjustment tax, I think, is a bad discussion. I think we should be getting off of that now, and I hopefully we will begin to focus on the things in tax reform. But let's remember that tax alone is not going to solve this problem. You mentioned it in your headline there. We've got to get after these bilateral trade agreements fast because unless we get a, a more level playing field, it's going to be hard to really be competitive the way the president envisions right now. Yeah, it's a lot of different things to, to tackle at the same time. The, the trade right. talks are, are um, something that are complicated, but are probably happening behind the scenes already. We spoke yesterday with the Canadian minister who was telling us about some of the talks that he's had with the administration. But let's get back to taxes, because that is such a complex issue. There is an opportunity to see a major overhaul in taxes like we haven't seen since 1986. But it's going to require um, everybody kind of getting on the same page in, in, in terms of how we go about this. You can shoot down the border adjustment tax, but it is something that's expected to raise a trillion dollars and get you to the point where you can have a revenue neutral tax plan that comes in. I know you're not in favor of it, but if, if you don't want the border adjustment tax there, how do you pro propose to raise that revenue? Well, what drives us to the border adjustment tax, according to the people in the House, is the fact that we need it to pay for these other uh, tax changes. I personally don't subscribe to that theory. Personally, I think the scoring mechanism here in Washington are uh, ill-fated, frankly. They lead us to wrong decisions. Let me give you a good example. If we eliminate the repatriation tax, there's some $2 trillion of U.S. capital overseas. These are U.S. profits trapped over there because of our archaic tax structure here. Right now, the scoring mechanism says if you eliminate that, it causes us to lose revenue. Well, we're not collecting a dime off that right now for the most part. So I think this is a situation where we need to trust the free enterprise system, do these other changes, do the trade as well, and watch the free enterprise system just grow this economy. So, so the idea would be is don't worry about the scoring at this point. We're, we're going to see it take off. Is that something that you would expect a year from now we would see the, the numbers making sense? Is it something that you would think longer than that? Well, here's what we have going on right now, Becky. We've got early signs of increasing or improving consumer confidence. We also see CEO confidence improving right now. They're even talking about investing for the first time in a decade. We see a little optimism that government right now is going to pull back on some of these regulations. And I think we see a sense of confidence out there that we haven't seen in a long time. So why would we want on the burgeoning side of a new recovery put a theory to test right now in our economy? I just think we need to let these tax changes go into place. The corporate tax rate would make us much more competitive. Eliminating this repatriation tax, most every other country in the world has already done that. And then simplifying the individual tax code, I know will produce growth in our economy. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.